this and render it out so that it can be used in jQuery mobile. It was, it's actually very simple to do. The hardest thing was actually figuring out how to do it the first time. I went through all manner of iterations before I came on this and I don't think it myself for being so easy, but hey, I'm gonna show you so you don't have to go through that same headache. All right, real simple. First thing we're gonna do is create a new HTML page. It's easier to do an HTML to start and then do a save as your ASPX extension is going to ask you to do that. Um, it's just less steps than actually starting with an ASPX page. Don't ask me why, but it is. So here's our page. Again, not calculus. And then we're going to go into our list that we want. And in this case, we're going to use a calendar. Hit the drop down menu and we're going to do show data. Now, by default, various things are going to be selected. I'm going to deselect and then control click and select the various items I want because, again, I don't need all these things, but I do need some of these. So let's see. Control click, um, created by. Location, start time, end time, description. That's pretty much all I need. Short and simple. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this insert selected field as. Hit the drop down menu, and you're going to want a multiple item view. Again, this is just a way to. Uh, put multiple things in there rather than one because obviously we're looking at a calendar just being able to view one thing would be kind of useless so you want to be able to view multiple items click that SharePoint's going to start working its magic and inserting that into your body right. now I'm going to just slide these over so of course I'm recording 800 by 600 so make it a little bit more universal um, so I have to slide things over. Um, now you're going to get this web part that gets put in, and some of it I'm going to use, some of it I'm not. First thing I want to do is I want to edit the columns because I do have the columns I want, but they're not in the order I want. Obviously, created by me doesn't need to go in the top thing. Most people are not going to care about that. Uh, I'm going to move location down. Actually, that's good. Start time, end time, description, location, created by. That's good. Okay. Now, one thing I will say before you do this, make sure you actually have some items in this calendar um, because we'll render it, but then you'll look at it and you'll say, well, there's nothing there. Well, that's because there's nothing in the calendar. So you really want to make sure that you do that. Then you want to come down here to data view properties and you want to change the layout. We just want to change the layout because as the default, it's going to go for the horizontal scroll and obviously if you're using something like jQuery you can't have a horizontal scroll it's just not going to work out so go down here I'm going to pick one of the I'm going to do repeat with border that means each item will show up and then there will be a border around it I'm going to hit OK it's going to say you sure you want to do this yes obviously now that's more what I want to look like again the only thing I'm going to do is do file Save as. I'm going to save it in my shared documents. Now, obviously, I already have one up here. Um, but if you didn't, and you're just going to call it, uh, you know, something else, it will tell you, hey, you should change your extension. You can change your extension there. For me, I'm just going to leave it as the um, as as I already have it. But again, it, it's actually simpler to do it that way. Save as, you already exist. Obviously, for me, yes, that's what I want. And again, while it's not necessarily terribly exciting when you first look at it, well, we'll render it out. And of course, mobily, that's going to be very handy. That's exactly what you want. And again, the beautiful thing about this, as soon as you update the calendar, once a person refreshes the page or refreshes the site and go back to it, all the items will update. So now you have an active calendar on your SharePoint site, you have an active calendar on your mobile site, 